My name is Estela, and I am a part of a social organization that defends the rights of Africans and Afro-descendants. I got involved in this work recently, but it's something that I always want to do. Growing up in a predominantly white neighborhood here in Spain, I have been profiled by the police, and many of my family members have been profiled too. Seeing our reality and the police violence that we have been experiencing historically, not only in my country, but all over the world, I decided to do something about it, to look for people and organizations to unite and raise our voices against the injustice. That's when I found out about UNR Coalition. The UNR Coalition started um, after the killing of George Floyd. When we saw all of these movements, these people spilling out all over, we as a international, Black-led international movement decided to take that case to the UN. So an example of how UN engagement can be effective is that we have a member who was tortured by the police. Uh, she went to the UN and told her story. They mentioned her story in one of the UN reports. When she came back home, suddenly all of the work that she was trying to do on the ground, she got more attention for it. And ultimately that police department was held accountable um, for its human rights violation. It really put her issue on the global map and authorities at home had to listen to her because she had gone to the UN. So we have organizations from all over the world, organizations from Colombia, from Brazil, from Trinidad and Tobago, from Grenada, from the United States, from Spain. It's also about the visibility you can give to your causes at home to an international community. This year, we were able to support eight member campaigns in different countries. These campaigns are created and developed by members, but the coalition was able to support them financially in order to get these campaigns off the ground. We help members in the submissions of reports and communications to the UN in a way that is easy and accessible. One of the main things we do is language justice. So all our meetings and communications are in four languages, and we also translate these published reports by these UN mechanisms into Portuguese, as Portuguese is not an official UN language. This push for change eventually led to, 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 you know, to a resolution, but eventually led to the creation of this Embler mechanism, right? To the, of this expert mechanism to advance racial justice in the context of law enforcement. So truly is one of the achievements of the coalition. So we work very much facing this expert mechanism, and also we work facing the OHCHR, so the Office of the High Commissioner, and also we work within the space of the Human Rights Council. I will join the UNR coalition to build an international community working on the same issues I work on here in my country and to amplify the work my organization has been doing for years. It's time to unite, it's time to act, so I invite you to participate.